Caleb McGarry is the latest NFL draft prospect to catch the eye of the New England Patriots. According to Aaron Wilson of the Houston Chronicle, the reigning Super Bowl champions are one of the many teams across the NFL interested in the Washington offensive lineman, who is pegged as a potential first-round pick. McGarry is looked at as one of the better offensive tackle in this draft after starting 45 games at right tackle for Washington, but evaluators say that the 6'7", 317-pounder may have to switch to one of the guard positions at the next level. During his final year at Washington, McGarry was first-team all-conference while helping the Huskies to a pack 12 championship. At the NFL Combine, McGarry ran a 5.05 40-yard dash, put up 23 reps at the bench press, had a 33.5-inch vertical jump, a 111-inch broad jump, clocked in a 7.66-second three-cone drill and a 4.58 20-yard shuttle. For the sixth time in franchise history, the New England Patriots are Super Bowl champions. Take a second to sign up for our free Patriots newsletter. NFL.com compares McGarry to former Jets offensive lineman Matt Slauson. McGarry has been a right tackle his entire career, but that could change once his athletic limitations are challenged by NFL-caliber rushers, writes NFL.com, S. Lance Zierlein. He would benefit from a move inside to guard where his strength and ability to generate movement as a run blocker would outweigh his issues with lateral quickness. McGarry could find early starters reps at guard, but struggles with balance and keeping block centered could lead to early growing pains that will require a team's patience. On the surface, one would think that McGarry doesn't fall in line with the Patriots' plans at the draft given that they are set in the interior of their offensive line with right guard Shaq Mason and left guard Joe Thune. While that's true for the 2019 campaign, Thune will be a free agent at the end of next year and is likely primed for a solid payday. If the Patriots don't want to overextend themselves for Thune next offseason, it could be wise to bring in his replacement now, allow him to have a year of service time as a backup before taking on a bigger role in 2020 as the potential starting left guard in Thune's departure. While that does make some sense, the Patriots must weigh out if that's worth using their no. The two overall first-round pick at this year's draft down in Nashville. Heading into this year's draft, the Patriots have plenty of needs, specifically at the pass-catching spot at wide receiver and tight end. If they feel like having some security along the offensive line is more pressing than the pass-catchers that are available at number 32, they could very well go in this direction.